Hey, this is Adam for DFB and today we are sharing five of the biggest Disney dining mistakes, which we do not want you to make. You spend a lot of money on your vacation and a lot of time planning it. We want you to have the best experience possible. So take care to avoid these big dining disasters. Number one, don't wait until the last minute to book. If you only take one piece of advice from this list, make it this one. Do not wait until you get to Walt Disney World to plan your dining. We recommend you make reservations as soon as possible, around the 180 day mark. This is a must if you want to experience a super popular restaurant like dinner at Be Our Guest Restaurant. Missing out on this would be a shame. Another perk of booking ahead of time is that you get to choose from the largest selection of options, while at the same time not being locked into your choice. For most Disney World restaurants, you can always cancel reservations or rearrange your dining up until the day before your meal. If you're already close to your trip and haven't booked dining yet, never fear. We've got a whole video about our favorite alternatives to popular restaurants when they're all booked up. Number two, don't think you are too old for the character meal. Kids don't get to have all the fun. If you have none in your group, don't worry about it. Character meals can actually be a good deal in Disney World. First of all, if any part of your vacation involves meeting characters, we promise you, this is the best way to do it. No waiting in line in the hot sun, no getting to the front of the line only to be told by the handler. Sorry, Donald's got a rest now, folks. He'll be back in 20 minutes. Just stand here and bake until then. Instead, Donald comes to you. And there's air conditioning involved. So pack away the sunscreen and that portable misty fan thingy. <laughs> you won't need them. Another reason to go for the character meals is the food. Most of the time, character meals are either a buffet or they're all you care to enjoy family style. Either way, it gives you an opportunity to fill up on a really big meal for usually one table service credit on a Disney dining plan. Speaking of which... Number three, don't waste Disney dining plan credits. As shocking as this may be, we often hear about first timers and even seasoned Disney veterans failing to use all of their Disney dining plan credits. This normally comes down to poor planning and that's why we refer you back to the top bullet point. Make your plans ahead of time. It is completely possible to arrive in Walt Disney World for your vacation without advanced dining reservations and find the bulk of the table service restaurants are completely booked. And if you've paid for a standard Disney dining plan, that can mean leaving credits on the proverbial table. But it's not just meals. Be mindful of your snack credits too. If you get to the end of your stay and have snack credits to burn, packaged candy and foods like Disney fudge travel well and make swell souvenirs. Or to eat on the airplane, keeping the vacation going a little longer. Number four, don't assume it's all burgers, fries and Mickey bars. If it's been a while since you visited Disney World, you may be extremely, and pleasantly, surprised at the sheer diversity of food offerings within the parks and resorts. Sure, the American classics and iconic treats are still here, but you can also get indulgent poutine at Disney Springs, incredible French pastries and macarons in Epcot, and some serious sushi at, well, lots of places. And there's so much more. It's a food lover's paradise, regardless of your tastes and whims. Disney also has some truly creative and top tier dining in their table service restaurants. Explore the flavors of Africa at Ajiko, Sena, or Boma. Enjoy the pinnacle of fine dining at Victoria and Albert's. The sky's the limit. And we've got a lot of videos showing you our favorites. Number five, don't miss the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. We saved the best for last. This wonderful annual festival takes place from August 31st through November 13th. That's 75 days. It offers something for everyone. International food marketplace booths line the World Showcase Promenade and even stretch into future worlds. 
low-cost culinary demonstrations and beverage seminars offer guests the opportunity to try new things. While special events like Party for the Senses and special dining events throughout Disney World are indulgent and worth the splurge. And don't forget the Eat to the Beat <laughs> concert series. It's a great way to cap off a wonderful day at the festival. In fact, if you want to know everything about the festival, pick up our DFB guide to the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. It's 250 pages of advice, tips and information about this year's festival. Oh, and use the code ENJOY at dfbstore.com for a 20% off discount. So there you go, five big Disney dining mistakes to avoid. We want you to have the best time possible on your vacation and part of that is enjoying a brilliant dining experience. That's all for today. Have you any additional pitfalls to avoid? We welcome your thoughts and experiences. Let us know in the comments. Please leave a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Once again for DFB, my name is Adam and we'll see you in the next video.